Wide task force is calling on the mayor and the Department of Education to properly address students trauma related to COVID-19 and other inequities. News 12's Cecilia Hua is down in City Hall to hear what they have to say. They deserve healing center practices. They deserve to be treated the way that they deserve to be treated because at the end of the day, they're just kids. Today, the Healing Centered Schools Task Force, led by public advocate Juman Williams and council member Kevin Riley, announced a list of recommendations to the city and a DOE to help students deal with trauma as schools reopen this fall. This is particularly going to be hard for my little brother because he's just so used to waking up in the morning and just going to his, going onto his computer. And because of the police brutality and the things that happen in the black community, my little brother doesn't like coming outside. These Healing Centered recommendations not only focus on students' trauma from the COVID-19 pandemic, but also from a long-standing history of racial and social injustices. Especially after the last year, as students are coming back from the trauma of COVID-19 and seeing police officers brutalize us in our own communities, continuing the practices of the past will fail our students. Some of the recommendations includes removing police presence from schools, providing mental health support and staff, and strengthening parent and student voices, especially those in underserved communities. I'm really hoping that there is some type of uh, healing for the whole child, the whole school community, and the community itself, so that every person plays a role. We've reached out to the DOE for a response to the task force's recommendations and they said they agree that students should return to healing centered schools this fall and are already implementing some of the pointers such as investing in mental health support. From City Hall, Cecilia Hua, News 12.